Hello, and welcome to SourceFed class. Uh, we're doing science today. I'm Mr. Morgan, and that's Mr. Beretta. Uh, you can now open up your books to chapter crap you're actually curious about. Yes, it's right after the chapter stuff I got to study for prior to my exam, and just before the chapter on sex. Click this here annotation for the chapter on sex that Elliot and I talked about. So you know you're like taking a bubble bath on a Saturday night, washing your hair, conditioning it because you want to look good for Sunday brunch. You know, your brunch at Louis with the wine flights and the sautéed goat cheese dipped in cranberry sauce. Ooh. So you're curling up in your tub, maybe reading a little existential philosophy, perhaps Kierkegaard's concluding unscientific postscript to the philosophical fragment when all of a sudden you realize your fingers are wrinkly and you're like, fart on my metaphysical face! Everybody says that at least once in their life. You know you do. Or you're doing the dishes, like a man. Or taking a quick dip in the lake outside your home in Montana, staring up at the majestic mountains and pondering the wonder of nature when your stupid fingers decide to go all senior citizen on you. No, I don't mean they smell weird and they don't know how to use an iPad. I mean they get wrinkly. The shriveling of the skin on the fingers evidently makes it easier to grip things underwater and or pick up wet objects. Now, this doesn't seem like a big deal, but researchers postulate that it's an evolutionary development. Tom Smolder stated, going back in time, this wrinkling of our fingers in wet conditions could have helped with gathering food from wet vegetation or stream. You see, back in the day, we actually had to work for our food and our shelter. We built things with our hands, we carved things out of wood and stone, and then we took those things and plunged them into the bodies of smaller, weaker animals, sometimes larger, stronger animals. We then ate those animals, made love to our women, and then woke up the next day to do it all over again. You'll find that on page awesome. Over at Newcastle University, scientists asked a bunch of people to pick up certain things like marbles or fishing weights. People with wrinkly hands were able to pick things up better. People with dry hands had the opposite experience. Furthermore, the wrinkling of your toe and feet would have likely evolved so we could run on slippery ground. The wrinkles themselves come from blood vessels constricting, which cause the fingertips to shrink as it pulls in the skin. So your wrinkled fingers come from evolution, specifically so you can grab things when you're hunting and gathering, and so you can run away from things, like tigers. So there you have it, students. That's your fun fact of the day. You can take your fun fact outside now during recess and go play stickball with it. I see you. I see in the back of the class texting. Are you? Really? Are you texting in my class? I'm not legally allowed to take your phone, yeah. but... I can put it in my desk. You are missing out! We might be substitutes, but you still have to treat us with respect. So you guys tell us, what's the most fun fact you've ever heard in a science class? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, you can click the like button. If you didn't like this video, you can click the like button. Also, we have an annotation for five daily stories so you can learn more information to fill your noggin. My name's Elliot Morgan. I'm Joe Beretta. Seriously, Johnny, put hey. it away. Hey! Put it away! It's not Johnny, that's Jennifer. It's a great haircut, Jennifer.